Assalamu alaikum children and a very good morning to all of you. Myself Amgur Atif and here I am with the new topic as you can see it's present on your screen. My children uh, this topic is connected with your previous lecture in which you learned that how you are going to compare the unlike fractions and then you uh, uh, you found the greater lesser and arrange them in ascending or descending order. What we are going to learn today is that we are going to add and subtract the unlike fractions. The steps will be the same uh, as you learned in the last video that first you have to make the denominator same by taking the LCM and then you have to do the operations whatever present over there. So let's begin with our today's session. Just have a quick re recap. What we did last time that I have given you the two fractions and then some vocabulary was present over there. Either you have to add or subtract. Now, as you can see, the word all together is present over here. So, obviously, all together means that you have to add. So, first of all, before moving further, you have to write down your fractions in such a way that addition sign will come in between. So, I'm going to write down the given fractions again. The same thing you have already done in your copy, but I have just uh, have to do the recap so that you can recall your previous lesson. All together means to add, so I'm going to put the addition sign in between these two fractions. Now my fractions are ready to solve. After writing the fractions with the given operations, you have to look for their denominators. Are they same or not? Over here, the both of the denominators are same. That means these are the like fractions. If they are the like fractions, the addition or subtractions are very simple because you just have to focus on their numerators. I'm going to write down 9 means the denominator as a common denominator in the next step and then these two numerators are going to come on the numerator's placement. 5 plus 7 will be 12 and 12 upon 9 is your, is your fraction after doing addition. But 12 upon 9 is still not in its lowest term. So for finding out the answer, you have to bring this in its lowest term. For bringing it into the lowest term, you have to select a table by which you are going to divide this whole fraction. Over here, 12 upon 9, both of these numbers comes together in the table of 3. So I'm going to start dividing with 3. 3 4s are 12 and 3 3s are 9. So after reducing my fraction is in its lowest term it means it doesn't needs to be uh, uh, converted more into its lowest term it's now in its simplest form or you can say my children i taught you two methods of bringing the fraction in its lowest term the first one was that uh, you have to find out the hcf of the given numerator and denominators and then you are going to write down the lowest term over here but make sure the hcf method was uh, for those fractions when you are dealing with the bigger numbers for example 132 upon 94 bigger numbers like but over here only two digit number are present 12 and one digit number 9 so you can easily do the cancelling directly over here by choosing the correct table as i did it over here now after bringing it into its lowest term i observed that 4 upon 3 is an improper fraction I hope you all understood that what are improper fractions. Improper fractions are those fractions in which your numerator is bigger than your denominator. So improper fractions needs to be converted into mixed fraction. For that, you have to divide your numerator and the denominator. Denominator will become your divisor and it will come outside the radical. Numerator will go inside as it is your dividend. Now I'm going to start dividing 3 ones are 3. Do the subtraction. Now 1 is remainder over here. So it will go on the numerator's placement like I have written it over here. 1 is your quotient and it will act as your whole part. So I have written 1 over here. And the divisor will act as your denominator and it will never change so 3 will remain the denominator i got my answer in the mixed fraction form that is 1 whole 1 upon 3 now 
the new topic which we are going to learn today is you have to add and subtract the given unlike fractions over here i took the example 2 upon 5 plus 3 upon 10 how can you add the fractions having different numerators and denominators it is just like adding apples into oranges so first you have to make them same by taking the lcm of the denominators what what you are going to do over here is first you have to write down that which type of fractions are these these are the unlike fractions so we are going to follow the same steps as we have done it in the last lecture also first of all you have to find out the denominators by taking you have to find out the lcm of the denominators by taking uh, you have to find out the lcm how you are going to find out the lcm this i done it over here in the rough column uh, my children this part this part you have to show it in your copy very clearly because in the exams lcm all, do carry the marks so make sure although it is written at the side of your copy it will act as a rough work but it will also carry the marks my denominators are 5 and 10 i'm going to write down over here and then start dividing my my dividends by selecting the number which can divide both of them either both of them or any one of them over here 2 is the number which can divide 10 so under 10 5 will come and because 5 doesn't come in the table of 2 so it will return as it is in the next i'm going to select 5 because now i have two fives over here which can easily divisible by five after dividing i got one under each number then we are going to multiply these two prime factors two fives are ten so my lcm over here is ten lcm and so the common denominator is also ten now my next step is that i'm going to raise my given previous fractions to make the denominator same raising raising we have to do the raising that means we have to do the multiplication we are going to multiply 5 with such a number so that i can get 10 in the denominator so in the table of 5 when 2 is going to come tens are and it's a rule of a fraction that whatever number is going to multiply with the denominator the same is is going to multiply with the numerator as well so two twos are four and five twos are ten <clears throat> my new fraction over here is four upon ten previously as well it was two upon five but after raising it is four upon ten in between the plus sign is going to come because we are doing addition over here then take the next fraction three upon ten in three upon ten already the denominator is ten so it doesn't require any raising it means it is just going to multiply 1 so that the denominator remains 10 10 ones are 10 and 3 ones are 3 i got my next fraction as well then after raising and making the denominator same i have to write down this step that means write fractions as a common denominator i i just done it over here 4 upon 10 plus 3 upon 10 where from where these two fractions came from these two fractions came from here when i was raising these fractions now my next step is write down these fractions as a common denominator i did the same collectively commonly i took 10 because now these are the like fractions i took 10 as a common denominator and then numerators will be written on the numerator's positions 4 plus 3 will become 7 so after addition of 2 upon 5 and 3 upon 10 i got the answer 7 upon 10 now look it over here 7 upon 10 is already in its lowest term so it doesn't require any cancelling or any division and it's a proper fraction as well so this is your final answer we are going to just learn one more example following the same steps this time i took the mixed fractions my children if the mixed fractions additions and subtractions comes in your paper don't get confused at what you are going to do you just have to follow the same steps as we have done in the like fractions addition and subtraction
you have to first convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions and how you are going to do that this also you have learned in the lesson in which i taught you that how you are going to convert the mixed fraction into improper and improper into mixed fraction by following the same lecture the whole part is going to multiply with the numerator denominator and then the answer is going to add in your numerators so 5 5 is 25 plus 3 28 and the denominator will be same the same step for the next fraction as well 2 tens are 20 plus 1 21 upon 10 then third one 10 fives are 50 plus 7 57 now here i have all my improper fractions which i got after converting mixed fractions into improper fractions the same step i am going to follow because these are the like fractions before addition i have to make the denominator same so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the lcm of the denominators which i did over here the same steps i have followed i got 10 again as a lcm or as a common denominator i'm going to start raising my fractions over here 5 2 is 10 and 28 2 is 56 upon 10 i got my first fraction then 10 2 is 20 10 1 is 10 and 21 1 is 21 second and then in the same with the third one i am going to write down these fractions as a common denominator that means collectively 10 will be written in the denominator's placement and the numerators will come on its numerator's placement after addition all these numerators i got 134 upon 10 i can observe clearly that this fraction is still on its lowest term so i am going to bring it into its lowest term by dividing it with 2 because both of the last digits are even numbers after dividing i got 67 upon 5 now this is in its lowest term or you can say in its simplest form but you can observe this also that this is your improper fraction an improper fraction needs to be converted into mixed fraction and one thing you have to make clear my children that if your question in its is is given in mixed fraction form your answer will definitely come in the mixed fraction otherwise it will considered as incomplete so for converting into mixed fraction i am going to do the division 5 will act as a divisor and 67 will go inside <clears throat> i am going to check that when uh, what less than 6 comes in the table of 5 and that is 5 ones are 5 after subtraction i got 1 it's time to bring the next number down that is 7 it becomes 17 so 5 5 3 is a 15 after subtraction 7 minus 5 will be 2 and 1 minus 1 will be 0 so my remainder is 2 my quotient is 13 and my divisor is 5 over here i'm going to write down all these numbers on their placements your remainder will uh, becomes your numerator 2 and the whole part means your quotient will act as a whole part as i have written it over here so the mixed fraction form of the improper fraction is 13 whole 2 upon 5 this is your final answer now just have a quick review that what we have exactly learned today my children after addition and subtraction whether the mixed fraction is given or not or just the proper fractions are given you have to check your answer very carefully either it needs to be converted into lowest term or it will already present in its lowest term if you have already converted into lowest term there will be two possibilities you will get the proper fraction or you will get the improper fractions or sometimes you will get the whole number as well if it is proper fractions that means that is your final answer but if it is improper fractions it needs to be converted into mixed fraction make sure if your question is in mixed fraction form you have to bring your answer also in the mixed fraction form I hope you understood what I taught you today. For more practice, 
the exercises are present on page number 70 of your countdown and on page number 68 and 69 some of the examples are also shared over there you can go through that also for your convenience and for your understanding i'm going to share the copy work video as well in which you will learn how to do the steps make sure my children you have you don't have to skip any of the step because in your exams there will be uh, the marks for the steps also and for the rough work as well so make sure wh whatever the method i taught you in the lecture videos you have to follow the same uh, steps and the same process uh, i hope you understood uh, take care of yourself and all the best for your assignment allah hafiz